Okay, this is a review of our second class, which was Monday. Um, the first sentence we went over was, Ogueño den si ait scana on. Can you say it again slowly? Ogueño, to be able to, den si ait, say it again, scana on, slowly. Ogueño den si ait scana on. And then another another word we went over was Niungwe uh, Dage, the number of people. Remember that ni is like a quantifier, the number of. Hodunungwe Donyani, the people, the creator made for himself. Hodunungwe Donyani, and you can use these when you're acknowledging each other in the beginning of Kanonyo. Uh, another. Since we went over, then the end the old and see, I'm going away, cut. The end the old and see, how do you say? How do you, yeah? How do you say? I'm going away, cut the Indian way. The end the old and see, ganyo on cut. How do you say the non-native way? It's a good way of putting it. So like, if you don't know what you want to say, like. Then no one see car. I'm going away car. How do you say car? Which the car is got uh, say that. And if you knew the word, you would say then no one see got say that. Can you want car? If you don't know the word, then it's like car. Um, we went over the the root nigoi nigoi, which means talking about the mind. The example was Aknigoyan dots. I don't under, or I understand, which I literally means my mind has settled on it. Aknigoyan dots. And a negation is da Aknigoyan dots. I don't understand. My mind isn't settled. And another version we went over was Gaonka. Uh, I understand. Date Gaonka. I don't understand. And I believe we put Saonka, you understand. So you could ask Saonka, Mwayoika, do you understand the Indian language? Uh, another example of what we went over was Gai, which is, uh, I'll write that down. People had a little trouble saying this, uh, I don't know what you call it, prefix or whatever. Tka, tka, it's not taga, tka. Tkai, tkai no od ogi. Was it correct what I said? And the negation is hen, dit kai. No, it wasn't correct. And we reviewed these also. Oh, is generally in the past, and that's an E with a nasal mark sound over it, means a future. In general, it's going to work most of the time. There's a few um, times when it doesn't, when it doesn't mean something, but we'll get into that. I mean, when it doesn't mean in the future or in the past. And then after that, we went over, uh, we talked about verbs and the forms of verbs with the agent and the patient verb. The agent is the one doing the action. The patient is the one being acted upon. And in Seneca, there's verbs that have movement, like running. And then there's verbs that have no movement, which is something like something is set somewhere, which is still a verb. We went over transitive verbs, actions like between two things or a group, like uh, me to you, you to him, you all to you all, and we'll get into that later. Um, then we went into all the papers I handed out with the uh, conjugations to remember that the K written in there is a G sound. The, what was the other one? T is a D. T is a D. 
Uh, we conjugated one word using that. Uh, it's a pronomial prefix chart. Remember, we're just on square one doing, concentrating on you, me, him, and her. Another word we went over was Ogahdandi, using the example of Ona Pass. I did leave Ogahdandi. Ingahdandi, with the nasal unit future, I will leave. Um, Oksahdandi, you left. And then we just touched upon um, the Hayatdi and Yeyatdi in the past. Wah dan, wa dandi, he left. Wah up dandi, chila. And that's where we're going to pick up next time.